Welcome to GameBench. Have you ever wondered how you can quickly find the best or worst results of a whole bunch of test sessions so you can compare builds or devices to do competitor analysis? In this tutorial, I'll show you how. As an illustration, we've recorded a number of sessions of Path to Luma, a puzzle game available on iOS and Android. We've added markers in order to compare the sessions. By looking at this comparison view, I can spot issues really quickly and in context. For example, this session stands out for its unstable frame rate and very high CPU slash GPU usage, suggesting that there's an optimization issue concerning the GPU, which is being worked to its limit. So let's see how I added the markers in the first place. Although it is possible to compare entire sessions on the basis of their scorecards, this isn't always ideal. Sometimes you'll want to compare just specific parts of a session, for example if you want to compare one particular level of a game across builds or across different devices. In this case, you can use the markers pane to set in and out points that narrow your focus, excluding any impact from menu screens or other elements you wish to ignore. There are two ways to add markers to your session, during your session through the Android app and retrospectively using the web dashboard. The first method requires the Android app and a premium account, as markers aren't available in the free version of the app. You must enable markers in the app's settings menu, then start profiling and you'll see an orange marker on the left. When you have a point you wish to set as an in point, such as the beginning of a level, tap the button. Tap it again to add the out point, for example when the level is over. The markers will automatically be labelled marker 1 and marker 2 when you sync your session to the GameBench web dashboard although you can rename them later if you want. When you want to compare the same marker area across different sessions, click on the compare icon in the top left of your dashboard, then select the session you want to compare and hit compare again. You'll then see frame rates across all marked areas and you can choose to view other metrics too from a pull down and can select the metric to view here to compare FPS, CPU, GPU, network and memory. You can dig down into the metrics by clicking on any of these tables and go into the graphs with screenshots of the sessions. To exit out of this, click the Return to Comparison in the top right. To add markers to existing sessions outside of the Android app, just go to the web dashboard, navigate to the session you wish to add markers to and open. At the top right, under Recent Sessions, you will see Summary, Metrics and Markers. Click on Markers and you will see a new window. Here you can see any markers you added on the Android app, or you can add your own markers by naming the marker and setting the in and out points. It is important to remember, in order to compare markers accurately, you must name your markers the same in both sessions, for example, level 2 with the same spacing and capitalization. Here you'll see that this group of sessions are all compared for a marker called level 2, i.e. the second level of the game, excluding any menus. The default comparison is for frame rate, which quickly reveals that the LG G4 is the worst phone for playing this game. Selecting the GPU pulldown suggests that the LG G4 is suffering from a GPU bottleneck because its GPU load is really high. Another great feature about this tool is the ability to export your session with markers. To do this, go to your session with the markers and click the widget on the right, Export Markers. This is a really useful way of getting a list of all summary metrics in a single CSV file. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.